as far as the limited edition, limited copies, the actual manuscript, then Alhamdulillah, this is also one of the unique features of the book. In my humble opinion, Allah knows best. I'm not here to boast or praise myself, but keeping it real is that I actually wrote the book by hand. I didn't type the book, not saying it's haram or makruh to write, to type something. I didn't dictate the book to someone else, but I actually wrote it by hand with a number two pencil. And Alhamdulillah, as I um, explained in the exclusive class that I did in London, is that I'm not bragging, I'm not boasting. I remember writing the book, the entire book by hand with pencil, maybe three hours it took me to write the entire book. It's not a huge book, nor is it a small, tiny book. What's important is I wrote everything by hand. So, and it's limited, um, uh, this limited edition, we wanted to allow you to have direct access, to have the direct uh, gateway into our world to see what my handwriting looks like, which isn't the best, is very sloppy, but legible, inshallah ta'ala. And for it to be a sense of authenticity, in a sense of antiquity, in a sense of old schoolism, you know? How the ulama in the past used to write with quills, with reeds, okay? People who, I remember reading about Sheikh Rabbani, he was in jail. Uh, and he wrote his Mukhtasar of Sahih Muslim with a pencil and eraser. That's all he had. There was no typewriter. There was no laptop. There was no printing press. Or there was no publishing company. What's important is antiquity and authenticity. The book isn't written by someone else. It's not forged. It's not made up. It's from us, by us, for us. You get a chance to hopefully become a part of history. And we have to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The 40 Hadith on Sigma Knowledge Volume 1 was unique, and it was, no doubt about it, it was groundbreaking. 40 Hadith on Sigma Knowledge Volume 2 was unique. There was nothing like it, it written in English. Not a translation, but written in English from an English-speaking person for an English-speaking person. And now we have this manifesto, we have this book, we have this training manual, right? This Kung Fu manual, the way of the disciple, and you get a chance to be the night title to have a special piece of history written in the author's handwriting with my signature be the night title so you'll be supporting us of course by anything that you purchase anything that you buy inshallah you'll be supporting yourself you'll be learning you'll be benefiting and i think it's important for us to um look forward to tomorrow we have problems we have flaws we have faults we have shortcomings <clears throat> no matter how hard we try certain things it's just you know a long must on but the next generation and the generation after that we have to leave something behind for them. And we have to have, uh, we have to try by Allah's permission for our children and grandchildren to say, Dad, they wrote this, they did this. They try to create scholarship, scholastics in America. People that were born and raised in America, English is their first language, America, Western, Canadian, UK, the culture, the Western culture, this book was written in their language, in our language, in our culture for us to learn and to revive those old ways. That's very important. These are some of the reasons why I wrote the book by hand. And this is one of the reasons why we wanted to uh, offer uh, this edition, this limited edition. Copies will be limited for sale, for purchase. There are many other reasons. Those who don't know, those who don't know, don't know. What's important is uh, your support is appreciated. Uh, your love, your feedback, your criticism is appreciated. And inshallah ta'ala, the proof is in the pudding. If you buy the book, you, let, you know, let yourself be the judge. Is it worth your purchase? Is it good? Is it excellent? Is it beneficial? Is it helpful? Is it something which is impactful upon your mind, your heart, your soul? Bidden in the